no less. Thank you, Eric Swalwell. Thank you, uh, Jerry, for convening us. We shouldn't miss the bigger picture here, which is that Russia attacked the United States of America and our democracy in the last election. Donald Trump's team eagerly sought to work with the Russians, from his campaign chairman to his son-in-law to his son, for months, they moved mountains to take meetings and receive the hacked proceeds that the Russians conducted. That is worth investigating. And that's what this is all about. The fastest way to get to a conclusion in this investigation is first for Donald Trump to sit down and answer the questions that have actually already been provided to him. Now, Vice President Pence says that we need to wrap it up. Well, you don't get to work with Russians throughout a campaign and then complain that the special counsel is still counting Russians. You don't get to take that benefit. And finally, when you lie, investigations take longer. So if Donald Trump and his team would just stop lying, and we've already had guilty pleas for false statements, this investigation would, lo would move a lot faster. We're not helpless in Donald Trump's efforts to invade upon the rule of law. And so Paul Ryan needs to finally be the check on power that Congress has given to him. Today, there's an opportunity to do that. There's a Gang of Eight meeting, a bipartisan meeting, to look at many of the bogus claims Donald Trump has asserted. But what Paul Ryan is doing represents the worst of Washington. He's going to a fundraiser instead. So the corrupting influence of money wins over core democratic principles. Paul Ryan should stay in town, go to that meeting, finally step up, be a leader, and be a check on an out-of-control president. Jamie Rask.